All right. In this example, uh, we want to utilize the power of the last theorem, which stated that if the set of V1 through whatever dimension you have is from an inner product space, uh, and that they're um, they're orthogonal, then they form a basis for your set. In other words, they'll be uh, linearly independent. So um, all I need to do is check the, well, I'm going to take two of them and dot them. So I have uh, four products to consider. So I have uh, basically uh, four choose two, which is six uh, dot products to compute. Okay. Uh, so for me, the easiest way to do that is just to hold one uh, fix. So I'm going to take V1 and I'm going to dot it with V2. Take V1 and dot it with V3, and V1 and dot it with V4. Okay, so that takes care of all the V1s, and then I'm going to consider, uh, I guess I'll do it down here, uh, V2. What's left? I'm going to have to dot it with V3, and V2, I'm going to dot it with V4. Okay, so that takes care of all those combinations, and then the last one will be uh, V3 dotted with v4 okay so you can see there's the three four five and then six so those are the six dot products that i need to check okay uh and so these are just the standard inner product or dot product uh for vectors so you multiply components and add together uh, so v1 v2 i have two times one plus Three times zero plus two times zero plus uh, negative two times one. Okay, so the inner inner ones are obviously zero, and then I have two times one times a negative two times one, and I'm adding these together since they're opposite in sign. That shows that they're zero. Okay, uh, carrying out each of the products like this uh, in general for v one v three and V1, V4, they also equal zero. Okay, coming down here to V2 <clears throat> and V3, just to show <clears throat> that one one more time, I have one from V2 times negative one from V3 uh, plus zero times zero plus zero times two plus, uh, we have a one times one for the fourth component. And again, just like in the other ones, we have a negative one times one and one times one. So this again equals zero. So uh, as I follow for each of the remaining dot products, those terms are all zero. And so uh, by the last term, well, by our first term, <laughs> so far anyway, uh, by our theorem, uh, this that S forms a basis which happens to span uh, R4. All right, I hope that was helpful. And oh, there you go, spans R4. I hope that was helpful, and I'll see you in the next video.